Talking of which, Melissa Hoganboom has been to Barcelona to see a 3D printer that's making something even sweeter. If you thought your nine blade ice crushing blender was the cutting edge of kitchen tech, meet the new guy on the counter. This is a prototype of the Foodini, a 3D printing kitchen appliance being developed by Barcelona startup Natural Machines. You may have seen 3D printers crafting chocolate into unlikely arrangements. And while the Foodini isn't ashamed of its sweet tooth, the creators want to bring something a little different to the table. But we're looking to go way beyond just chocolate or way beyond a space food, if you will. We're looking for everyday foods that you would eat. So savory foods from ravioli to gnocchis to pastas to decorating toast that you might have for breakfast. The idea is to save you time making those fiddly foods without cutting corners on quality. A great example is ravioli. When you make ravioli, you have to put a layer of pasta, a layer of filling, and a layer of pasta again. And I don't know about you, but I haven't made homemade ravioli in ages. I just don't have the time to do that. But with this device, it takes all the hard work off of it for me. This prototype can only print with one ingredient at a time. So if you want to make something more ambitious, like a burger, you'll need to construct it in a few steps. This prototype all looks very complicated, but I've been told that the finished version will be much simpler. And we've just had Halloween, so here on the computer I've got the design for a ghost made out of spinach ricotta. And all I have to do is click print. This ghost has been printing for about five minutes now, and it's just going around adding layers, making it thicker. And I'm told you could eat this straight away, or you could put this in the oven and bake it. Costing around 1,000 euros, it's pretty pricey for a time-saving device, especially if it just ends up in the back of your cupboard. The finished product has been designed to look more at home next to your toaster. That's, of course, if it doesn't replace your kitchen entirely. Melissa Hoganboom in Barcelona.